Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics and we're here to do some Faraday cage testing and in particular multiple aluminum Faraday cages and we're going to use these meters. This one is reading millivolts per meter and this one is reading milliwatts per meter squared. And in the background, in the bottom of the screen, we have a wireless router. I'm now going to turn on that wireless router. So it's now powered up. It takes a few seconds, but we should see the readings on the meter spike up. So our wireless radiation is now on, and we are now reading it on both meters. So I'm going to put the first Faraday cage on, and we are currently ungrounded. And this is standard aluminum kitchen foil. There's nothing special about it. So that's our reading with a single layer of aluminum foil. I'm now going to ground it. So we now have a grounding connection connected to the foil. And there's our reading. So I'm going to disconnect the ground. I'm going to put the next Faraday cage on. And these are simply cardboard boxes covered in a single layer of kitchen foil. There's nothing special about them. So that's our reading with two Faraday cages of kitchen foil. I'm going to connect the ground. Ground is now connected and that's our reading. So I'm going to disconnect the ground So our final cage over the three. So we have three layers of aluminum foil shielding the wireless router. And that's our reading. So I'm now going to connect on the ground cable. So all three Faraday cages are now grounded and our 2.4 gigahertz wireless router is giving off energy. And if we were to continue this process, we would probably find that with multiple layers of aluminum foil, we could get that signal to drop very, very low. But as you see, it is quite important when you're doing Faraday cage work to use multiple layers of the screening material and that was the purpose of this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.